Well, howdy, fellers and fellerettes. It's your boy, Be Skizzy. It's your boy, Be Skizzy here. We're at the West Pole. Last time we went to the church and we righted some wrongs. I got some cool stuff and advanced my character. So here we are at the West Pole on our way over to the railroad. But first, uh, excuse me, I'm very sorry for that. Wow. What do you have to say, Gary? Oh, wow, my head to spinning. I do feel a little bit weird. The ball must have some strange magnetic field or something. Gary is not to liking it. To throwing upward, maybe. Do goblins have some kind of magnetism, magnetism based sense like homing pigeons? Okay, stop rolling around on the ground. We'll leave soon. Ooh, it's a weird pile of rocks. Something mystical. A perfectly balanced stack. Oh, hello. Something powerful. A tall stack. What is this? Something suave. A cool zigzag. Hmm, mystical sigil. I don't understand. Are you supposed to be doing something here? Put them all as sigils and see what happens. I am the king of the rocks. I am the king of the rocks. No one can best me in my sloppy chef's hat. And no pants. The king of the rock don't wear no pants. That's how it is. Deal. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's go to the railroad camp. You find a pair of saddlebags slung over a tree branch. Stenciled letters on the side read property of Fort Aldead Library. Ooh, another cookbook. Let's continue on. But first, I'm going to do some reading. All right, Bean Gollum, Uncanny Presence, Resistance Against Elemental Damage, or Butter Bean. Hmm. What do we want? Sure, a bean golem. Oh my. Summons a small bean golem. Summons a powerful golem made of beans who will probably do your bidding. And you practice making servants out of beans until you're pretty good at it. Unfortunately, one of your early experiments gets a little rowdy and eats the book. Bad, bad golem. <laughs> I'm so, me sorry. Me just, me just love eating books. Me love eats the books. Me eats the books. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, the guy stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans. What you got there? Jelly beans? Yep. Can I have one? Nope. Please? No, get your own. Well, I never. Uh, where'd you get them? A little way south of here, from a fella named Roy Bean. Thanks, feller. Still whistling to beat the band. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Stuck again? Yep, got ourselves one hell of a candy to get across. So no materials for bridge building. Any ideas? There's a little mine town up north called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after the mine dri mines dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? It's me marks the location of Breadwood Camp on your map. Of course, anything you can find to build a bridge out of is fine by me, but that seems like the simplest option. We'll see what I can do. It's one of those... Pay telescopes for tourists. This one designed by a promising young artist named <laughs> Edward Munch. That's the scream. He painted the scream. You pay your meat and look through the telescope at a big canyon. It sure is big. It'll take quite a bridge to get across that thing, that's for sure. Yep. 
What we got? Oh, breadwood. Roy beans. Let's go get some beans. Jelly beans. Hello? Your travels are interrupted by a fairly disturbing sight. A skeleton covered with weird glowing mushrooms, which is shambling towards you and making angry hissing sounds. <laughs> Gesture. Weird. Is that a goblin skeleton or something? Gross! No! I was just thinking, you know, because of the mushrooms. Yes, conceding that, but no! Alright, fine, mushroom boy. What? I can't do anything. Okay. Oh, his mysticality is really high. Wow. Oh, man, I just don't know what I got myself into. Bean Golem, go. Hmm. Find some. S what the what? You lost him. The skeleton beats the hell out of you. What a fun guy. You get so angry about losing the fight, you pass out. You wake up the next morning in your bed. Gary must have carried you back after you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but not otherwise any worse for wear. You're pretty hungry, though, and sober. Hutch Mosey. What was that? Wow. Mushroom skeleton. Wow. Oh, yeah. We got. We were so angry. Oh, Gary, hi. Hello, Gary. Oh, oh, a place for going. Gary is thinking of one. Really? What's that? A cactus. A biggest cactus ever seen. With goblins inside. Oh, granddad. Well, that does sound interesting and or weird. What should we do next? Smee is leading lump. Smee is lumbering eating for a metal big, big metal snake. I, I ate too much mushrooms. He's saying a place for breadwood? A place called breadwood? Yeah. Yeah. What's this place? Oh, I'm outside. Wow, that's nifty. I'm missing anything here? No. I still want to get some beans. Some jelly beans. You find a crate lying on the side of the road that has lost Dutch oven mines since I it. Isn't that the way in the opposite corner of the territory? That's pretty lost. A dynamite and a can of kerosene. It's mine. I found it. You get your own. It's mine. Roy Bean's House of Justice and Jelly Beans. Justice. Uh, jelly Beans. Roy Bean's House of Justice and Jelly Beans? What is it? Well, I've never seen those two things juxtaposed that way, so I'm not actually sure. Oh! I'll go inside and have a uh, look around. What was that? Roy must perform his... Morning absolute ablutions outdoors. Oh, take that toilet! I flushed the toilet and grew as an individual. There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case with a sign that says Paraguayan Murder Bee Honey Jelly Bean. Very rare. Six thousand meat. What kind of lunatic would pay six thousand meat for a single jelly bean? Not this kind, that's for sure. How did their pilgrim names Roy Bean? Howdy, Roy. I'm Dirty Earl. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, there's about two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jelly beans. I was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy selling anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. Got old is all. Hung up my pistol for good. He's pointing an empty hook on the wall over, by, over a spittoon. I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but they're out of fashion. This old place is just a jelly bean museum now. Seems like the sign out front isn't very accurate, then. How do you mean? Well, if you aren't dispensing, ju dispensing justice anymore, maybe it should just say museum. Hmm, guess you got a point. For a jelly bean museum, I sure don't see many jelly beans. Huh, <laughs> bunch of crooks and shady characters stole them. All three jars. Spoke, suppose they think I'm a soft target now that I'm retired. Oh, that sucks. I'll help you get them back. 
Well, now, I certainly appreciate the assistance. Can't offer much in the way of reward, but I can tell you which way the first group of thieves went if you happen out in that direction. Okay. I'll go get them. But first... <laughs> it's a spittoon. Nothing special about it. As soon as you get near the spittoon, you can smell the overpoweringly sweet stench it exudes. Not exceedingly sweet, like the rotting corpse of a dead gummy bear. Oh, that's not what I want. Look inside. Garish rainbow colors swirl together in a congealing psychedelic madness. Is Roy using jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. Investigate further. We're talking about a bowl of jelly beans that have been sucked on, half chewed, and then spat into a brass bucket. Do you seriously want to put your hand in that swill of artificial covering and coloring and thickened saliva? It will probably never be clean again. Go for it. Look, I'm serious. You're about to permanently dye your hand with a swirling mishmash of all the worst colors in the spectrum. No one will ever have a tattoo that looks as gross or as stupid. Give it to me. Well, I tried. Don't ever say I didn't warn you. You plunge your hand into the spittoon and fish around for a while. Eventually, you pull out a really disgusting pistol and a really disgusting hand to shoot with. I got spittoon hand. Your hand, <laughs> your hand has been permanently stained by the rainbow-colored contents of a nasty spittoon. On a bright, on the bright side, the hand will never suffer anything worse than that ever again. And the befouled pistol. <laughs> it'll, it'll probably make a ptoo sound when you shoot it. Yay. Now what? Oh, let's go to the jelly bean themes. You come across a deserted campsite. There are signs of a struggle, but the only intact object is a crate with military stencils on it. You think they're military, at least. It's hard to tell with all the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, the crate is also, like, covered with mushrooms. I kind of buried the lead there. It looks pretty flimsy, but you're not 100% sure you want to touch it. With my crowbar... You pry the lid off the crate and be careful to avoid the mushrooms, just in case, and grab the supplies inside. Alright, nice, nice. Keep looting. Oh, yes, yes. On to the thieves' hideout. Are these a man's of jelly bean stealing? This is where Roy sent us, but I don't actually see the jelly beans anywhere. What if they're eating the jelly beans? Oh no! Perish the thought. You push the bandit's seat around a fire. The meanest one, spe meanest looking one, speaks up. Don't know who you think you are, stranger, but you better turn yourself right around and head back the way you came, unless you want to eat lead. Well, that's not very neighborly. Take a hike, neighbor. You fellows stole a jar of jelly beans from an old man, and I aim to have them back. Oh, is that right? And how are you planning on doing that? With words. Listen, fellas, you stole a jar of candy from an old man. This is such a small, petty, sad little crime. It barely even qualifies as a crime. If this ends up on a wanted poster, you're going to be the laughing stock of the criminal community. More importantly, what would, they, what would your mothers think? I'm giving you a chance to turn away from this life of crime before it's too late, and I suggest you take it, because I'm pretty sure this is not a life you're suited to. The bandits hang their heads shamefully and shuffle away. I did it. See, violence isn't always the answer. Oh, I got some mint, mint jelly beans. Oh my. Yeah, my headband. Can of oil. A match. Ten dynamite. Oh my goodness. Thanks for that, fellers. <laughs> Finders, keepers. Let's go back to Roy's house. See a few buildings. Kellogg Ranch. We'll go back. To the, we'll go there in just a moment. But first, howdy, dirty. You recover that. <clears throat> howdy, dirty. You recover that jar of jelly beans by any chance? Sure did. Well, I'll be. Thank you kindly, dirty. I won't ask for details, but I hope they were sufficiently grisly. Now the second jar of jelly beans was stolen by a passel of them weird goblin fellas. Couldn't understand a word they were saying, but they was very insistent. Which way did they go? Northwest, toward the usual cactus called Old Granddad. I'm on it. Hmm. Jelly beans. Arr! Oh. 
He's frustrated, not angry. <sighs> a shirtless man in tight, stretchy pants charges out at you, at you out of nowhere. No more. No more mushrooms. No more yogurt. No more exploring my inner consciousness while I'm running in place. I'm going to kill something. Kill it and eat it. Holy jeez. Oh, I am not prepared for these guys. Bean got him. Go. What have I done? What did I do? What did I... What could I... Possibly have done? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is just silly. Fortunately, the guy is too hard on his mind to actually sit down to eat you, so he goes charging off into the desert. Oh. oh, my goodness. This is not going well. All right, let's keep insulting ourselves. Why not? You raccoon eating son of a biscuit. Okay. Well, next time I think we're gonna wander a bit and try to boost our stats here. This isn't going well. We're uh, too. F I think we're too far in the uh, too far in the map. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed what you saw, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we'll just keep on trucking, keep on going. Let's do it. You, me, and Gary. And and Bob. Don't forget Bob. He's very important to the story. A nice hat. I got one just like it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. All right. Take care now. Y'all take care now, you hear?